takes a lot of hard work to bring a film to the big screen. Thousands and thousands of hours are required to produce what is essentially only two hours of work. As a moviegoer, all you can see is a beautifully told story. However, there are months and sometimes years of work put into making the finished product that eventually runs in theaters. That goes double when the movie in question is an animated feature. The genre hit a new high in 2016, when a whopping 16 animated features were released. But some movies inevitably fall by the wayside when the market gets flooded. You might think that there is less work involved in putting together an animated film, but it's quite the opposite. There are even more people working together to get these movies made. These movies feature giant teams of animators working on completing the film, so it is no wonder that some mistakes can slip past them. As much as Hollywood is focusing on big-budget blockbusters and superhero movies, one of the most famous film genres for decades has been animation. Sometimes, no matter how much work people put into a film, there will inevitably be some mistakes. With that said, let's take a look at 10 movie mistakes in animated movies that slipped through editing. Pixar's first feature film started with a bang, revealing a young boy's toys not just to be alive, but capable of forming complicated strategies to find out when a new toy would be joining their ranks. But it also features some mistakes, both in animation and continuity. The Toy Story opened with Sarge and his army men scouting Andy's birthday party, reporting to Woody and the other toys about his new gifts. The scene also features one major mix-up, since the baby monitor the squad uses is the handheld half, which only acts as a speaker. Consisting of two parts, this monitor model only contains a microphone on one end, which means Woody and the army men wouldn't be able to talk back and forth. Wreck-It Ralph and its sequel Ralph Breaks the Internet featured numerous video game characters from multiple publishing companies alongside the film's cast of original characters. This comes as no surprise since the movie's focused on video game characters, but six years have passed between the two Wreck-It Ralph films. If you think about it, that's a long time for Ralph and Venelope to have been living out their separate monotonous lives. However, the first film features the 30th anniversary of Ralph's game, insinuating he had existed for 30 years. He is a key element of that game, and so has undoubtedly been there the whole time. This implies that Ralph Breaks the Internet messes with this continuity by explaining that Ralph and Venelope met after Ralph had existed for 27 years, making the math pretty confusing and silly. Although Frozen is one of Disney's biggest animated hits, that doesn't mean it doesn't feature any mistakes, especially when it comes to the animators. Numerous artists and writers may shape an animated film. Nevertheless, some mistakes, errors, and unsolved questions always seem to make it through inspection. One of the most well-known sequences in Frozen features the magical Queen Elsa, embracing her powers with a performance of the award-winning song Let It Go. However, when she decides to really let it go and finally let her hair down, she does so by making her braid tumble down her back. But instead of pulling her braid over her shoulder from behind, she teleports the braid directly through her shoulder, revealing a genuinely mind-bending animation mistake. There's no denying that Zootopia is one of Disney's gleaming jewels, discussing diversity themes, but the film is not impervious to animation errors. Some of these pass under the radar of any average movie attendee, but those who keep a sharp eye on backgrounds and objects rather than characters and plot are quick to see the wrong placements of buildings or food. One of the animation mistakes happens when the landlady first shows Judy her luxury apartment, where we can see the deadbolt lock for the apartment's singular door is affixed to it. But when the movie cuts to the following day, the deadbolt lock on the door is moved up from its original position. Besides, the moment Judy opens the door, we can see that although the interior deadbolt is attached higher, its key cylinder on the exterior side is much lower, making no sense. But then, the deadbolt is back to normal. You might have easily missed this, but a lot of women from Disney's animation movies were far too young to be falling in love and riding off into their happily ever after with their princes. For example, Snow White was just 14 when she was cursed by the evil queen, while Aurora from Sleeping Beauty was only 16 when she pricked her finger and fell into a deep sleep. Another Disney princess who was definitely underage when conversations about their nuptial plans took the center of attention is Aladdin's Jasmine. She was 15 when the Sultan started prowling for a suitor, while Milan was 16 when she had to go to war to avoid matchmaking. Perhaps the most alarming example is the Little Mermaid's Ariel, who was 16 when she decided to trade in her home, family, and entire lifestyle to marry some landlubber she'd met only a handful of times.
Finding Nemo was a crowning achievement for Pixar since animating an entire ocean world was a daunting task, but the finished product was a massive hit with families. The movie revolves around a clownfish living in the sea with his overprotective father, Marlin. But Disney animators managed to mess up a bit with the physics laws in the scene of Nemo's fish tank friends escaping in bags of water. When Nemo's fish tank friends make their escape into Sydney Harbor, they're still contained in their plastic bags. A closer look should have viewers realizing that bags of salt water wouldn't float above the ocean's surface in perfect spheres, but they would sink to match the same level or much closer to it than the movie shows. The long-awaited Simpsons movie finally hit Cineplexes in 2007 and grossed more than half a billion dollars worldwide. But despite the $75 million budget made available by Fox, some incredibly sloppy mistakes still made it to the big screen. The movie opens with Green Day playing a gig on Lake Springfield. When frontman Billy Joe Armstrong attempts to broach the environment's topic, the crowd reacts angrily and begins to throw garbage at the band, pushing the already toxic lake to dangerous levels. The raft that the band is playing on dissolves, killing the punk rocksters, but during close-ups, a Binge responsibly, Duff Beer Blimp can be seen floating just behind the stage. However, in wider angles, the blimp completely disappears. Another continuity error includes the audience, as many of the characters who throw their drinks at the stage were empty-handed in the previous shot. For many fans, The Incredibles is their favorite superhero movie. The animated superhero movie that came out far before Marvel was blowing up every box office was supposedly set in some fanciful version of the 1960s. However, during one of the film's shots of the newspaper clippings, there seems to be some confusion about the dates. Mr. Incredible is claimed to be a hero that was active during the golden years of superheroes. Many newspapers get the time right, but one newspaper actually has the date of September 16th, 2002, which is strange since the movie came out in October 2004. Maybe the animators had tried to to reference some important date, perhaps the date they had started making the movie. The moment it was released, the Monsters, Inc. film became a cultural icon by putting a circular, one-eyed green fellow and a massive, hairy, blue guy in front and center. These two amassed fans from across the world straight away. But despite their status among fans, the film isn't perfect. The film's stars, Mike and Sully, have a hard time keeping track of the girl named Boo. They realize her laughter isn't just more powerful than screams, but strong enough to cause massive power outages. But when she's taken back to the factory later, her laugh is only powerful when convenient or comedic. When Boo repeatedly laughs while playing hide-and-seek with Sully in the men's room, nothing happens to the electricity, as it happens with all other times she laughs. The producers admitted the inconsistency, revealing that it posed too many challenges if they followed the rule from beginning to end, so they were forced to ignore it. How to Train Your Dragon was a big win for DreamWorks after its previous animated feature barely broke even domestically and received lukewarm reviews. One of the most memorable scenes in the movie is the one in which reluctant Viking Hiccup meets Toothless, a Night Fury dragon he just can't bring himself to kill. After he helps bring him down with the net, the beast is there for the taking. But instead of cutting out his heart to take to his father, Hiccup cuts the rope loose and sets him free. When he returns to the injured dragon with a homemade device that will allow him to fly again, he comes with a basket full of fish as a peace offering, which Toothless quickly destroys. When the dragon takes off seconds later, and we see Hiccup's view of the ground below, the basket has vanished. Hey, breakfast. I, hope, I hope you're hungry. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay! 